Welcome to the next episode of DSEI Insights in Action. We are still here in Dubai on Global Freight Summit, uh, organized by uh, our member, DP World. And I have a privilege with me today to have uh, Mario Beladares, who is actually the founder and the president of Narval Group. Mario, welcome. Thank you, thank you. So let's start our conversation, you know, uh, talking a little bit about the role uh, which Narval Group plays uh, in operations of Panama Canal, knowing that it's one of the bloodlines of the world trade. Thank you, thank you very much. Well, uh, the Panama Canal as it is, it stands for around 6% of world trade. So 6% of world trade is passing through the Panama Canal. So our group, what we have done is to try to concentrate on that, not only by adding value to the trade that passes through, but also acting as a complement of integration. So you see the Panama Canal, you see the, the port system, then you see the rail, and then how do we provide services to all the cargo that is passing through. That's how we have envisioned the project. We started in that, Narval is, is a series of, it's a holding company actually, but in the, the logistics division, we started 10 to 12 years ago by helping and facilitating that cargo connectivity through Panama. So it's a huge responsibility on, you know, having 6% of global trade and, uh, you know, the things you, you actually are doing. Mm -hmm. And uh, coming back to that is like, what do you see as the biggest challenges going forward? And from your point of view, uh, what's the role of talent in it? It's crucial. It, it, talent talent uh, is crucial. Attracting talent is probably one of the biggest uh, situations to solve in that area of the world. You see? You, you, because talent moves, and, and talent likes uh, uh, you know, countries and economies that, that provide them happiness, for instance. You know? And if, you, if, if the segment or the sector or the region is moving in another direction, you will be influenced by it. You know? Today, fortunately, Panama is, is the driving force or the driving economy in that area of the world. You know? Hence, we are able to find talent in order to provide this such services that we're doing in, in the region, but but we have to look very close to it because we don't want talent to be moving away from us, no? which is the most important thing at the end of the day. It's all about people, Marco. Everything is about people. I agree with you, Mario. Yeah. I agree with you. And, and le let me misuse the situation we have, and yeah. uh, I, I'll kindly ask you to up open yeah. as much as you can, but. You know, I know and I heard that uh, Narval Group is actually thinking about uh, aggregating talent towards Panama and then building up the knowledge base in something like kind of an academy. So how these things would be important for the development uh, of the region per se and then as well uh, uh, implicating the, the global trade? You see, not only, not only from a private point of view, but also from a public point of view and from a message, a marketing message uh, towards the country. You know, the, as, as, as long as we continue you know, to, to provide you know, mechanisms in which we form our talent, uh, together with DSEI, for instance, and the Center of Global Enterprise, we would be able uh, to guarantee the sustainability of the process that we want to embark on. So at the end of the day, it's uh, for us uh, trying to, to establish a, an opportunity where talent can get formed and trained in, in, in digitalization, in supply chain, in, in all these subjects, will be the grantor of our future. No? Thank you, Mario. You gave me a, a segue to uh, a question with which I would like us to uh, wrap up this short session. And that's like, you have been a very active uh, member of Digital Supply Chain thank Institute, you, you. and uh, you have been a great advocate together with your team about the role of Latin America uh, in the global trade and supply chain transformation. So in that sense, can you share what is the value you are abstracting as an organization from the DSEI members? The community, Marco. So it's having the, the, the opportunity of sitting down with colleagues that are going through the same situations that we're going through, one, that speak our language, two, 
that are concerned with the situations that are happening around us in the same way uh, probably we are, you know, uh, adds tons of value uh, to our thought process, to our future planning, to, to where we're headed. You know? I was telling my wife yesterday, just for instance, you know, uh, uh, being able to sit down with a gentleman like I did yesterday, uh, Michael Spence, for instance, you know, uh, in, woof, what a brain. It's, you know, what a brain. And you don't, you don't get to be able to do that if you're not part of a structure like we're doing it today. So I would say that. Thank you very much, Thank Mario. Uh, please stay active with your uh, team as you are, and I think we, we all excel together in that sense. Beautiful. This has been another DSCI Insights in Action. Thank you for being with us, and stay tuned for more. Thank you, Mario. Cool.